So, yesterday we drove around Mount Desert Island. We went down the western side mainly to see all the little nooks and crannies. And, um, I didn't find everything I was looking for that was on YouTube, but I should have paid more attention and taken notes. <laughs> um, then we cut up and came back through the other side and uh, head back and of course had to make the Walmart stop. Um, I had run out of poop bags. I don't know why I didn't bring enough with me. Um, and then last night we had the firework problem with Tia. So you probably can't see us because it's dark. But I have the most scared little dog here. Because stupid people have to fire off fireworks. Over and over and over again. Some people and some dogs are deathly afraid of them. It's okay, Tia. You'll be okay. She <laughs> pulled me off the chair, literally, and almost dragged me across the field. I know fireworks are fun, but really, when you've got a campground, and they're not supposed to have them here. And I thought, oh good, this is going to be a safe place. And I had a feeling the 4th of July was going to be tough because she's so scared of fireworks. But, but anyway, today... I think we're going to go to Shudik Point. It's the um, part of the park that's actually inland. It's, it's on the coast, but not on an island. Uh, the weather is... Uh, it's still not great. Yesterday was the best day. Uh, today we're looking at... I don't know what yet. It seems to always be miserable in the morning. Um, we had torrential downpours last night. I, I'm so glad I sleep in the van. Because I thought it was going to come through the roof of the van. It was so loud. But anyway, that's my luck. I either have septic overflows, sewer plant overflows, or rain. Or one time I had a hurricane coming, but I was leaving that day anyway. So... Dogs are fine. They were so tired when we got back last night. Tia never tires out that much, but poor Bonnie. She crawled in, into the van and she just stayed there. So anyway, we'll be back hopefully from Shudik Point later today. Bye. Entering Shudik Point. You got another drink? No? You scared of it? No, you take over there. This is so treacherous. And why am I down here? Because I'm crazy. You guys want a drink? Bonnie, you want a drink? Can you get over there? Huh? I guess not. All right. All right, <laughs> I don't think this is a good place to be, but it is cool looking. It looks refreshing. I want to take some pictures, but it's really hard to maneuver. Yeah, I know, look at Bonnie, she can't move. All right.
I think this is the spot where the tides go like both ways and they cause like these whirlpools and all kinds of things to happen. But I saw a whirlpool. <laughs> really really amazing I left the dogs in the car because I don't know Tia looks like she cut her foot and I think I'm taking too many chances with them but this is really nice it is so relaxing and the cool mist and the smell of the salt air is just intoxicating. And the sound. Okay, Tia's paws, I think, look fine. It's just the um, the seaweed <laughs> kind of stained her paws. So we're at Shudik Point, up, way up at the end. And I see some dogs out on the rocks. So I think this is going to be a little bit safer. Good to have that on hand.
Okay, so it's our last day here. And I don't know if it'll show up, but it is sprinkling. I'm taking some time out to charge up things because tomorrow we're heading to Lubeck to Cobbscook Bay State Park. So the dogs are doing fabulous. They survived the rocks yesterday. <laughs> and so did I. And I just took a shower. Of course, the minute I went to the shower, the sprinkling started. So I am not gonna get dried off too soon today. But anyway, let's get under here where it's dry. <sighs> And we'll talk a little bit about what's going on. Um, it's going to be an adventure putting away wet equipment tomorrow. Um, not sure how I'm going to swing this, but at least it's warm. Uh, it's not really cold. It gets chilly and damp, but it hasn't gotten really cold. The campground is emptying, which I'm not sure why, because it's a long weekend, but anyway, that's good. That's fine with me. I'm not sure what I'm in for up at Cobbscoop Bay, but so let's see. On this trip, things that worked and things that didn't. What worked was a big tarp. I was really glad I had it. I had bought it a while back at um, Bay State Job Lot, and I wasn't sure how big it really was, and I hadn't opened it yet because it was big and I didn't need it, but uh, this was a, a godsend. It's kept the tent dry. In fact, I could have spent the rest of the week in the tent, but like I said, I like to sleep in the van and I sleep like a baby in there. It's cozy, it's safe, and it, it just feels so much better. I really wish I could get a camper because I'm sure that would be the same way. I couldn't get internet up at my campsite, but I got it okay down by the bay. Uh, which is, it's a really short walk. It's no big deal and it gave the dogs a chance to do their thing on the way. And I would sit by the bay and stare at the fog every morning. <laughs> and that worked out well. I mean, it got me to move around a little bit. Now we get into what didn't work. The fridge. Um, it worked. I mean, it worked fine. It worked fabulous. But it, it took up a lot of power. And with no sun, um, let's go back to what did work the solar panels on the two afternoons that I got sun I, I got a little bit of charge in the, the big blue eddy I got one bar that's all that there was time for and yesterday afternoon I put the little blue eddy in it and I got about a 10% charge because of course it got cloudy again the fridge is fine, it works great, it makes it a little extra cooler, but I think that's going on trips where there's electricity, because, or I know it's gonna be sunny every day. The cooler, what worked? That extra insulation with the Reflectix, yes, that worked great. I didn't have to put ice in it until yesterday. So you figure Monday, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I got five full days. Another thing that kind of didn't work is I brought too much food. <laughs> I, I'm so used to cooking for at least two people and having leftovers. And I bought and cooked too much food. So I ended up throwing more away than I really should have thrown away, but that's okay. I had a, a lot of variety. So anyway, today's adventure is not an adventure. We're just going to stay around here. There's no sense in going anywhere because of the fog and the rain. I think I've seen most of what I really wanted to see at this point. 
so I did get to Acadia. I got to use my pass. Um, and hopefully we'll use it again someday. I will come back here and <laughs> hopefully in nice weather. The queen of bad luck. Anyway, I'm having a good time. It's quiet. I'm thinking a lot about my life and stuff and soul searching and all that crap. And the dogs are happy to be away and having fun. We will see you again soon. Okay, so there's this really interesting sculpture here at the park when you come in to the entrance. There's really no information on it. It's just a, a sculpture. You guys like the sculpture? Hmm? She is going to check it out. Oh, hold on. There's a plaque, I think, over here. What do we got? Let's see. Ugh. Sculpture. Oh, Scudic Sculpture Symposium International. 2009. And here, don't pee on it, please go. <laughs> Roland Meyer from Germany. Let's see if we can get a better shot of it. Yeah. Look at it. It is pretty, as I always say, like my little 50s saying, it's pretty neat. Good morning. It's moving day. Yeah. Oh man. It poured all night. And it's still sprinkling off and on. Doing what I can. Trying to keep things as dry as I can. Dogs are very unhappy. I... Where's Tia? Tia! Tia! Where, where are you? Oh. <laughs> Come in here. Come here. She went back under the picnic thing. Doesn't know where to go. It's it's dry in here. Just stay in here. I know. I know. It's very sad. <laughs> Anyhow, we're headed to uh, Lubeck. Um, I gotta get moving. Um, not much time and. I'm going to be okay. The nightmare is going to be this tent and the canopy because they're soaked. And I was going to wear a bathing suit, but I think this will work. I'm going to be soaked all day. Yay! Anyhow, we'll check back with you later.